live in the hive. I'm Maya. I live here in the meadow. What? A bee living alone? That's against all the rules. Your queen and I shall have words about this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Southern Nectar Field, go. Clover Patch, go. Don't forget the dandelions and the bunches of sage. The harvest has to be finished before nightfall. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Oh my! Judge Beeswax! Is the meadow full of ill-mannered bees? This will go into my report to the Council of Queens. I am sorry, Your Honor. That's enough. Take me to your queen. Who is that, Miss Cassandra? The High Keeper of Hives. The Council of Queens put him in charge of seeing that rules are obeyed in beehives across the meadow. I'm waiting. Sorry, Your Honor. Judge Beeswax, welcome back to my happy kingdom. Happy, O oh Queen? How can it be happy when it's home to such troublemakers? Troublemakers? I was nearly attacked by a young bee who claimed she lived in the meadow. You must mean Maya, but judge your mistake. You approve of this? Preposterous! A bee's place is in the hive, making honey, following orders. Hives only thrive if every bee everywhere obeys every rule. This Maya must return home at once. If she refuses, she must be driven far, far away, where her troublemaking ways won't give other bees the wrong ideas. Of course. Now, I'm sure you're hungry after your long trip. Guards, bring Judge Beeswax some honey. Oh, dear queen, this is what I call respect for the rules of hospitality. Your Highness, you can't be serious about sending Maya away. Naturally not, my dear. We'll show Beeswax around the nectar field, let him fuss and complain, then feed him a big picnic banquet. As long as he doesn't see Maya again, he'll forget all about her. <laughs> <laughs> 